So we're going to create another file and we're going to call it math fun. So I'm going to press control and N, control and S, math fun dot py. And I'm going to enter the code. And then I'm going to run the program. So the first variable is obviously a number. And it is kind of a standard to put some spaces between variables and operators and values. It just makes them easier to read. Do you have to do that? No. It's just good practice, too. And here I'm going to print out a little message followed by the calculated result. And you'll notice there is a comma in between. Okay, and so you'll notice uh, number X is a number, but string X is a string. And then I try to do math on both. So let us take a look to see what it does with the string. In a lot of languages, uh, you uh, strings have a value of zero. But that it so it does not give us a zero, which is interesting. So let's save this and run it. So result one did exactly what we thought, right? 20 times 10. But what result two did, instead of assigning string X a zero, it kept the 20 in there and it repeated it 10 times. Okay, so uh, that is also something that's a little different than other programming languages. Now, if you have errors, I do want you to correct them. And most errors at this point are going to be typos. So let me make one and let me run it. Okay, so name error, uh, result one is misspelled. You can see that. And it's also trying to flag it up here. So once I fix this, and save it, that little red squiggle goes away and I can run it and it should work. Now we're going to modify our program. We're gonna add just a couple more uh, variables. So value one, is a integer and value two is a string. And we're gonna check to see what the system thinks the data type is. If I can type, <laughs> bad typing day. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Let me save first. And you can see here, it's got the type of value one is an integer and the type of value two is a string. And let us save everything. And we're going to move on and discuss uh, data types in more depth. 